and we're back here on the bonus stage. And who do we have? VJ Anan, Woo! editor of Hardware Zone. Pimp Daddy VJ, he's the guy that helps us, uh, helps us get all of this stuff. Pimp D. Pimp D VJ. Alright VJ, so tell us. You know, obviously we tried and we couldn't. So you have to come and tell us, mother us, and tell us how we're going to put it all in. Yeah, by the way, thanks for coming here so fast. Uh, like, <laughs> probably like five minutes you got here. Quite good, right? Anything for you guys. Thanks, man. Okay. <laughs> So let's take a quick run through what we have, we have got over here. Mm, okay. okay. So down here we have our CPU. Okay. okay. The CPU comes along with the cooler itself. All it right. is one item. Next is the motherboard. Your memory. Your hard disk. That's where you store all your stuff. Yep. And that is the optical drive. Optical drive. Screwdriver. Uh, that's what you require to build up your system. You need a cross and a Phillips. And finally we have the power supply unit. Yep. Mm. And of course, not to mention house everything. We mm -hmm. had a casing. Computer casing. Computer that's casing, right. right. Okay. So, along with the motherboard comes your data connections, mm -hmm. your IDE, and your SATA connectors. And this is the motherboard faceplate that you plug it into the casing. We'll show you how to do everything. So, don't sweat. Okay. So, you are going to take us through all the steps on building our own computer because we already have everything. Yep. Um, what's the first thing to note when we get all our stuff? Any okay. safety tips on handling stuff? There's one important safety tip. Be careful with electronic components. They're very sensitive to static. And all of us do carry static, right? So we need to discharge it. How do we discharge how it? How do how we discharge, discharge it? our human static? <laughs> it's not like that, though. I always try to fireball it. Okay, anyway. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. okay, sure, sure. A simple, simple way out, okay? So you yeah, have the power supply out, right? Yeah. Okay. Get the power cable. Okay. Okay. Plug it in. To the power socket. Mm -hmm. And... Okay, once you get into the power supply to the mains, okay, to don't discharge yourself. On nope, on you don't have to. Okay. As long as it's connected, there is a circuit here, right? Oh, okay. All you have to do is touch. Touch the casing of the power supply. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's all touch it. Uh, this, that's is all quite, touch it. this is quite cultish, man. <laughs> ah, feel the aura. <laughs> Discharge okay. it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Communing with the electronics. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, How much? Okay. That's How long it. must be? Now, that's it. Just touch it. That's about it. Okay, Once you do it, you're discharged. So let's move on to uh, inspection of the items. Yeah. Okay. Most important we have is the processor, right? So this is the processor. Mm -hmm. Remember, we bought an AMD processor. This is so. This is how it looks like. Okay. So handle it by the sides. Okay. okay? And you have to inspect the pins underneath. These are the CPU pins. Looks like a few are missing, huh? Oh well, that's the design, so don't oh, worry about it. Now, okay. important thing is to make sure that they're not bent. So mm. inspect it carefully that they're not bent. If they are, you better go back to the retailer to get it exchanged. Okay. Yeah. So if not, it won't fit into the motherboard. Okay. Okay. Now you're ready to inspect the motherboard. Okay, just a quick check. So now we had a motherboard. This mm. is the same board which we fiddled around in the Sumi Square shop earlier yes. on. Okay. So you just have a quick look around to make sure okay, there's no uh, broken components or any of those sort. There you have a motherboard. They call it processor. So now we're installing the, the AMD processor, processor into the motherboard. Part. Okay, so this is how we do it. So this is a socket here. This yep. is where the processor goes in. Lift this lever here. Okay, just lift this lever. Okay. This notch over here. Okay, these, those two have to be aligned. So that tells you the correct orientation of installing the processor. As usual, handle it by the corners. Drop it into place. No, don't smack it in. That the pins will break. So just drop it gently into place, and that's it. The processor's in. You can just check it. Yeah, it's in. Okay. And now you lock the processor in place. Okay. And the next item you need to install is a CPU cooler, right? Okay. You need to cool the processor. It gets very hot during operation. So when you buy a processor, it comes with a cooler. It comes with it. Okay. Yeah. So don't don't sweat. You don't have to worry about what to get, what to buy. There are many options, but when you buy a processor, it comes along with it. We don't just uh, put the cooler on the processor. We need to have interface material, right? So we have something called a thermal paste. Thermal paste. has gone beyond this so science fiction. Yeah. It's Whoa. called thermal paste. Is this okay. your discharge or No. Oh. no. Oh. Normally when you buy the cooler, they yeah. come with a they're called thermal paste. But okay. sometimes they don't. And when they don't, they usually supply a small packet of thermal paste. To thermal make sure paste. it doesn't burn the CPU. In a, in a matter of fact, it helps to uh, transfer the heat faster from the processor to the ah, CPU cooler okay. and make sure there's no gaps, minute gaps in between. So let's put on a layer. Is it toxic? Nah, it's not toxic. It's a thin layer across. So even in laptops and notebooks, they have thermal paste on there. Yes, all, all uh, uh, 
integrated components have some mm. sort of thermal paste or thermal material. Okay, so, so that's a, a that's really it. nice fine mm. layer of thermal paste. Good job, good job. Good good job, job. Good job. <laughs> so let's get on with installing the cooler itself. Okay, latches. Okay. Like, check the, the latches. latches. Okay, so first install the other side. It goes in like this. Latch it in. Rest the rest the cooler on the CPU. Okay. Okay. So now we have this. Okay. Once the latches are in. Oh, lock that's it. Place. You just lock it into place. Okay. Don't forget the CPU fan connector. If not, your CPU fan will not be spinning at all. Okay, well, if you look at it close, you can see the CPU fan marking down there. Okay, so we're connecting the CPU, CPU fan. fan. Yes, and it's connected. Okay, cool. Alright, great. Cool. Okay, before we move on, I think we better start the. Is right. the start some static. Yes. It's like the cheer. Whoosh. 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 Okay. <laughs> Plug it in. Because memory, uh, random access memory. Yep, yep. All right. REM, RAM. Okay, so no way stuff. these are the memory slots. Okay, so you see them color coded. You just take the first two pair, and that's for next time. So just slot it in. Do we go in? Oops, it's not the right way. So check. Close call. Yeah, so this looks fine. Okay, so that's how you check. Push it in. And just make sure the latches on the side secure it. Okay. And that's it. We got the memory in. Well, the rest of it is pretty much on the system, inside okay. the system itself. So we just okay. leave it on the side to cook yep. for a while. And then <laughs> the side. Let the door raise. So we have this casing here right now. Let's mm. prepare the internals. So first things, we'll, we'll install the optical drive and the hard drive. Okay. Right. Okay, we see a mirror of cables here. We'll get to that later. Okay. This latches here. Mm -hmm. so latches on the side. Yep. Latches on both sides here. Okay, so these will enable you to remove the front panel. Okay. So now we have the optical drive. Okay. So for this one, we'll be using this particular drive bay here. Slot the drive in. One, two, three. Let's pop the third panel out. Okay. Just snap it off. Here. Thanks. And Touch. now, just pop it back in. How do you lock it in? Screws? Do we need screws? No. Okay, for this modern case, we don't need screws. We have these latches. So just push it in all the way. And now, back again. And, we'll lock. and this one lock in place. So now, the drive will not go, will not be moving any further. Because we have this section over here. This section stores the hard drives. For the hard drives, this hard drive sits on rails. These rails are protected by the casing itself. Okay, let's snap them on. Hard drive goes in this way. And these connectors will be facing out, so they can connect it to the motherboard later. Okay. Okay. So hold them in until you hear a snap. Snap. Yep. So now the hard drive is in. It's secured. Okay. Okay. So, so now we're installing the motherboard. Motherboard itself. Okay. However, the motherboard is not quite yet ready to enter the casing yet. Okay. okay. Yep. You see these uh, these mounting holes? These are mounting holes on the motherboard. Here. These are all mounting holes. And you need to screw them on, right? Yes, but to put in the motherboard right now here, without putting in any standoffs. What are standoffs? Standoffs are these. And this comes to our casing, right? This comes to the casing. These little items of motherboard standoffs, okay? This will raise the height of the motherboard okay. off the bottom of the base. Okay. okay. So you need to install so just the right So the important thing to note is that you don't want the motherboard to touch the metal part yes. the bottom. Yes. You will show the motherboard while it's in operation. Okay. So you need this to, to raise the height, to raise the platform itself. Okay. okay. So you can't install all of them. Okay. You should install just the right number that's required for the motherboard. The first one comes in over here in the corner. So you just screw them in place. Mm -hmm. Just by hand. That'll be fine. Okay, so what I'm doing now is screwing the last screw and these are the standoffs, right? Yes, mm. the multiple standoffs. All of them are in, all eight. So we can just align. So this is the flow you're going. Okay, so align the rear panel connectors. Once they're in, the board will sit nicely. Okay, so we have the motherboard installed. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get these uh, front panel connectors connected up into the motherboard. Okay. Yeah, they come with the housing okay, itself. Okay, okay. All you have to do is plug it to the motherboard in the right place. Uh, colored wires they indicate positive um, polarity 
Okay, positive polarity is colored over here. Okay, red, blue, orange. These are positive polarities. Negative ones are all white. Okay? Yep. Yep. So you need this, the polarity to be correct. So it's also indicated on the motherboard right here, which is plus, which is minus. Okay. Positive is all the colored ones. Negative is all the white ones. Okay. okay. Great. So let's connect that. But what is next? The next step is power supply. The power supply. Okay, let's discharge ourselves. Discharge ourselves. Discharge. Okay. 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 Push, push, push. Okay. So let's Okay. Okay. We hmm. secure the power supply. Yeah. Okay. Let's connect up the power cables. Great. Okay, so we have started the other cable. Yep. Okay, let's kind it up. You can't miss it because it says SATA 2 on the motherboard itself. So. Yes. Data cable for oh, optical, optical drive. drive. So here we have the ID cable. It tells you that. Okay, that's pin number one. So that's how we line it up. So you got several ways. It just has to be more careful. It's very subtle. Okay, so we're gonna give it some juice. Yes. We okay. Compiled everything into our computer. Yep. So and let's start up, BJ. Monitor is on. It's on. Okay, let's give it a start up. Lights on. The drive is on. We're working. Woo! That's it. We're done. High five. Good no, job. Hey, touch. That's it. Must touch the. We don't touch it now. <laughs> we're done, we're done. Okay, so that was the, your DIY guide mm. to building your own computer. Uh, if you guys want to want, want to know more, you can always head down to hardwarezone.com. Yes. That's right. And you know, VG is in charge of Hardware Zone and it's like the most uh, popular site in Singapore. In terms of forums. Yeah. Forums, yeah. For, forums for, you know, like tech stuff. technology. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Pull the stage over and out. Yo, yo, yo!